Hi, in this video training of Node.js, we will be learning about global objects. Node.js global objects are global in nature and they are available in all modules. We do not need to include these objects in our application, rather we can use them directly. These objects are modules, functions, strings and object itself as explained next. The first thing we will be looking at is the underscore file name the underscore underscore file name represents the file name of the code being executed this is the resolved absolute path of this code file for a main program this is not necessarily the same file name used in the command line the value inside a module is the path to that module file let's create a js file named main.js with the following code Okay, let's get started. I'm going to create a project directory for this training. Let's call it node global objects. I'm going to set permissions for this folder. Okay. Node global objects. Okay. And let's create the main.js file. Or I'm going to call it global node global file name dot js okay let's console dot log and we are going to print the file name the console let's print the value of file name okay that's it Let's save the file, go to the console and let's run it. Node, node global. You see it has returned the full path of this file as well as the project hierarchy, directory hierarchy on my operating system. So this is the file that we have ran, node global file name .js, and it resides in home Usman projects node node global objects folder so I hope that you have understood the concept of using this global object the next one is directory name it's under underscore dir name the dir name represents the name of the directory that the currently executing script resides in let's create a js file named main.js with the following code I'm going to use the same main.js file we created for the file name global object. So let's use the same file. Let's print the value of dir name. And this time I'm going to print directory name, save the file, go to the console, run it again this time you see the second output is only the directory hierarchy and it doesn't include the file name that we have executed so that is the output from the directory name console.log statement the next global function is set timeout and is it is used to run callback cb after at least millisecond the actual delay depends on external factors like os timer granularity and system load a timer cannot span more than 24.8 days this function returns an opaque value that represents the timer which can be used to clear the timer let's create a file name main.js with the following code and let's call it main.js the code is function print hello and within that function we are printing out hello world on the console now call above function after two seconds set timeout print hello 2000 2000 milliseconds mean two seconds i'm going to create a new file for this example so node global set timeout okay dot js and 
going to create a function print hello okay In console dot log hello world okay and set time out set time out okay print hello after two milliseconds okay now call the function every two seconds okay let's save the program go to the console and i'm going to run this program node global set timeout okay you see it printed out hello world exactly after two seconds and the program was exited so that's how the set timeout function works the next is clear timeout the clear clear timeout global function is used to stop a timer that was previously created with set timeout here t is the timer returned by the set timeout function let's create a file name main.js with the following code this is the same function that we created previously print hello and but this in this program we are setting a variable t which holds the handler to the set timeout function and we will use this handler to clear the timer okay clear time out and pass in the handler save the file and i'm going to run the same file again you see this time no hello world what printed out because the clear timeout function cleared the set timeout object and removed it from execution the next one is set interval the set interval global function is used to run callback cb repeatedly after at least ms milliseconds the actual delay depends on external factors like os timer granularity and system load a timer cannot span more than 24.8 days basically this function has approximately the same properties as as the set timeout function so we can use this function to print out our example exactly after 2 seconds let's create a new file sublime node global set interval dot js okay let's copy this from the previous example and this time i am not going to use set timeout i am going to use set interval function and let's save this file okay, let's execute it okay you see it printed out hello world and it will continue to print hello world after 2 seconds because it's it is the set interval function okay the following is a list of other objects which we use frequently in our applications one is console it is used to print information on std out and std error then we have the process object it is used to get information on current process provides multiple events related to process activities that's it for this video training i hope that you have learned about the global objects available in node.js and how to use them if you liked this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you next time with the new topic in node.js